dog. That's enough for me. A couple of days later, she's like, so you don't want kids, but you have a dog. Do you have like a boyfriend or anything? And I was like, no, I've never had a boyfriend. She's like, how old are you? I said, 27. She's like, and you've never had a boyfriend? And I like never really cared, but there's something about her like saying that that really hit me this time because like, I've never been on even like two dates with the same person. Like even guys I've talked to or like hooked up with, they'll slowly stop talking to me and then I find out they have a girlfriend or they get into a new relationship like a week later. And like when I was younger and I didn't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, I'd be like, it's cause I'm fat. I used to weigh like 320 pounds. I lost 160 pounds. It's not like I'm being hit up every day, every week, even every month with like people in my DMs or like messaging me on Snapchat trying to get with me. It's like no one hits me up. It's not even like I'm being selective with who I'm picking and like turning people away. It's just like people aren't coming up to me. I don't, I don't understand. Not like I have an issue with people like wanting to hook up with me, but if it tries to go a step further, they're like, absolutely not, no. I don't wanna just like hook up with random people that I don't know. So I'll tell people that I don't wanna hook up with them until I know them and then they're like, well, you're a prude. I'm like, I literally can't win. Why it's like hitting me so hard this time is the fact that she had the audacity to ask by choice. And I just sit there and I'm like, no, <laughs> it's not by choice. When I was younger, I was like, oh, it's because I'm fat. Oh, it's because I'm fat. fat. Once I lose weight, I'll have no problem. And now that I'm like not fat, I'm just like, what is it? What is the reason? So now I'm gonna finish my energy drink and hit the gym until I can't feel my emotions anymore. Modern women are starting to wake up to the dream they've been living in for decades. A dream consisting of feminist propaganda, social media madness, and classic poor life choices. But modern women aren't starting to wake up because they're choosing to. They're waking up because they're forced to. By what? By the wall. Undefeated by anyone and everyone. When you meet the wall as a woman, it's a confrontation with truth that's often so impactful that it can blow your illusions and feminist BS beliefs to pieces. And that's exactly what's happening to countless women. We're seeing it all over social media. The privileged bubble that modern women have been living in for decades is finally showing signs of bursting. We're starting to see that in pretty much every major area of society, from dating to the workplace, Modern women once enjoyed preferential hiring, but now company owners are starting to refuse to hire them because of the complications that a woman brings into the workplace. Smart employers are starting to realize that by caving into the demands of the woke mob, they are hurting their bottom line. A woman is more likely to bring drama and gossip into the workplace. And this isn't just some stereotype. Behavioral psychologists have been talking about the ways in which women show aggression for years. And pretty much every way women choose to show aggression is something that's going to create a toxic work environment. Employers are realizing this. We're seeing a decrease in the privilege women have enjoyed in the workplace for years, but women chose this. Don't feel bad. This is entirely self-inflicted. Before we go any deeper into this video, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Fenrir who said, Gentlemen, let's play a sad tune on our violins for these sad lonely 304s. And eventually, he edited the comment to say, Oh man, we practically got a whole orchestra here. This is the Brotherhood. And when you check out the replies to this comment, we got a whole band of men just supporting each other. That's what you gotta love about this Brotherhood. So, don't forget to reach out to my email to claim your $5. As always, guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It could be the funniest, the most liked, or one that I just really liked. So, don't forget to leave a comment, and you may be the next winner. So be sure to hit that like and sub button too, as it helps out the channel a ton. Now, let's get back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. Don't mind the ribs, Nighty. I actually have something I want to say. I don't know when it started, but I realized I started to do this thing where I don't let myself actually feel the things that I feel. I don't let myself admit that it does overwhelm me that I'm 35 and single. I don't let myself feel the full weight of the times that I've been hurt in my life because I don't like to give those people any sort of power over me. I don't even like to say it to myself, let alone publicly, but then I kind of forget a really important piece of the puzzle. Vulnerability and sharing these feelings is where real progress is made. 
As much as I want to fight it and act like it doesn't get to me that I'm 35 and I'm single and I don't have any prospects right now isn't going to change what I really feel. It's hard. It's really hard to sit and admit that I have been hurt. It's hard to sit and admit that I have taken risk on love and it hasn't worked out. It's hard to admit to myself that it's impacted the way that I view dating. But one thing I do know that I really like about myself is the fact that I'm never going to give up trying. I'm never going to give up on myself. And even though, yes, I am 35 and single, I'm also 35 with a clean slate. 35 and no longer in a toxic, abusive relationship. 35 and completely supporting myself. And even though it can be so overwhelming and sometimes embarrassing to not be where I thought I was going to be, at least... Another bubble that's best is the pedestalization of attractive women. Women were able to glide through life easily, receiving preferential treatment and massive advantages just from being moderately attractive. But the thing is, they've been taking these advantages for granted. They've been assuming that it's because of their own talent, skill, or ability that things were coming so easy to them. This gave them a truly insufferable attitude of pure entitlement and inflated self-importance. And now modern women are reaching their 30s and being bitch slapped by the wall. Suddenly, they're realizing how difficult life is outside of their privileged glass house now that they can't play the attractive women card. But the thing is, men are not being sympathetic to them. And that's because they're getting a small taste of what it's like to be a man. It's about time. This is leading to a change in the dating market that is truly unprecedented. Modern women's dating options are drying up because men are walking away in massive numbers. Society did not believe that men would ever do it. Society even dared men to try. But men said, hold my beer and walked away. The level of power a man has when he walks away is something you should never underestimate. And society wasn't prepared for it. Now women are freaking out and asking where all the good men have gone. But the smart men know what game these women are playing. Women are just upset because their endless supply of validation and attention has dried up. They had no intention of dating any of these men because they didn't meet their ridiculous and uncompromising dating standards. This is yet another reason why we shouldn't feel bad. It's all for attention. Even gyms are done tolerating their BS. Men are leaving en masse, which is causing such an impact on the gym industry that they've been forced to bring in new rules against recording. Now, many big chain gyms are refusing to allow women to record their workouts. This is making women extremely mad. But it's all because their social media profiles will suffer. It has nothing to do with working out or health. It's all about trying to catch a man glancing in their direction in the frame so they can accuse him of being a creep and boost their views with massive numbers. When you're trying to understand modern women, it helps to remember that, more or less, everything a modern woman does is centered around gaining some sort of attention. Many women say that attention from men is the worst thing about being a woman. But when those same women no longer get attention anymore, they freak out about it and can't handle it. Modern women are being forced to self-reflect because countless men are no longer choosing to get married. The abysmal state of divorce court laws, alimony payments, and custody battles has driven the vast majority of men away from the prospect of marriage. And now, only 6 out of every 1000 men ever aspire to be married. And in my opinion, that number is still far too high when you consider all the risks involved. Men aren't getting married anymore, and it's freaking women out. But here's the reason why it's almost impossible to be sympathetic. We're not idiots. The entire time we've been watching these women rack up crazy body counts with chads while pushing away great men who were willing to settle down. They had their chance, but now they want it again. But the same men that these women rejected have a very good memory. They remember how she behaved when the shoe was on the other foot. When he was the one interested in her, she was spiteful, nasty, and vicious. But just because she's been pumped and dumped by Chad's for her entire adult life, she's not ready to find a nice beta bob provider who will save her from her terrible life choices. She's not interested in love. She's not interested in a man. She just wants to be bailed out. As men, we know this is going on. We know the kinds of games these women are playing and we refuse to participate. This just makes modern women even more mad. Grab your popcorn, because this is only going to get worse as more men increasingly become wise to the games women play. Why'd you stop going for the bad boys now at 29? 
I'm 29, babe. Like, we're done. All about the, the good life, the soft life. I want to live well. Out on anything that causes me stress. But why were you chasing that at 22 and 23? Well, you're 22, 23. You don't know what the heck you're doing. You're just like, you think it's exciting. And it's like, you realize after it's not actually exciting at all. And you're like, all right, I'm out. I'm out on this. Did you feel like back then a bad boy would be more able to protect you too, as opposed to a nice guy? No, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's like, I think back then you think it's exciting and you think that you don't know what you want at that age, first of all. You don't know yourself well enough. Now you do. Now I'm like, all those guys, bye. One such game is trying to get a male coworker fired because you don't like him by making up a bunch of baseless sexual assault allegations. Maybe as a woman, you can increase your social media following or even start a GoFundMe if your story becomes popular enough. It's easy money, and you get to destroy a man's life with no effort at the same time. From a modern woman's perspective, it's a win-win. But I've said it once, and I'll say it again, men aren't all Homer Simpson. We aren't stupid. We can see that being alone with a woman at work, we're making ourselves extremely vulnerable. That's exactly why countless men are refusing to be alone with a woman at work without a third party present or at the very least, a security camera recording CCTV footage the entire time. If she decides to make up some BS and accuse you of it, you've got a backup and you're safe. Men are becoming wise to the games modern women play and they're refusing to play them. And modern women absolutely hate it. One of the greatest privileges modern women enjoyed is being approached by men and not having to do any of the work at the beginning of a relationship. But because modern women have a habit of biting the hand that feeds them and ruining things for themselves, they attacked men as being creeps if they so much as looked in her direction. Approaching a woman and inviting her for a drink used to be a great way to meet women and explore your romantic prospects. If you ever hope to be successful with this as a man, you need to learn to approach in a respectful way. But a tiny minority of men did not approach women in a respectful way and women used that as an excuse to attack men as a gender. Suddenly, men were being accused of being creepy, perverted weirdos if they decided to say hello to a woman. And here's something that modern women need to understand one day. Actions have consequences. And one such consequence of this action is that men stopped approaching altogether. Women told men to stop approaching. So men stopped approaching. And suddenly, women hated the fact that men stopped approaching. You can't make this up. It should come as a surprise to absolutely nobody that men have decided to stop approaching women. You can't call an entire gender a bunch of creepy rapists and expect them to want to come near you. You have effectively told them to leave you alone, and that's exactly what they did. They did what you asked. What are you getting upset about? One thing I find quite hilarious about this whole thing is that women who no man would ever dream of approaching were the most vocal about it. The most out of shape, blue-haired, angry feminists with mustaches were screaming at men telling them to stop approaching them. Ladies, nobody was approaching you before anyway, and they're certainly not going to now. Modern women are starting to learn that blindly parroting feminist propaganda for three decades is a great way to completely alienate an entire gender and turn them against you. Some women are waking up and using this opportunity for some honest self-reflection. You need to give credit where it's due. Some women have come through the other side of this societal shift and actually have the intelligence to examine their belief systems. Take a look at this video for example. This woman is talking about the idea of men being born at the wall without advantages and privileges. Let me start by saying you have something there. You're right. Men are born at the wall. But the difference is it's not a negative thing. Being born at the wall is actually a blessing. Now, why do I say this? It's because when you're born without advantages or privileges, you work harder, you develop yourself. When you're born at the wall, there's nowhere to go but over the wall. That's your only option. Now you see with women, especially attractive women, they're so far away from the wall. They glide through life with privileges, without needing to develop themselves. They glide through life thinking everything comes to me because I'm attractive. Now that actually puts a person at a disadvantage 
when you finally come closer to the wall. Because the wall, what it represents, it's not just a brick wall. The wall represents truth. That's what the wall is. It's your truth. Without all the pomp and circumstance, without the beauty and the attractiveness or the XX chromosomes, which gives women an advantage from the start. What you just witnessed is the beginning. This is a woman who has started the process of self-reflection. She's realizing how privileged she was the entire time and how privileged women are in society as a whole. Not only that, but she's also expressing some very rare empathy for men. She's openly acknowledging that men are born with no privilege. Male privilege is a complete myth. The average man is born at zero. If he wishes to have any hope of surviving in this world, he needs to fight and struggle for everything he has. But if he can survive, this is an advantage for men. This is one of the reasons why men become more attractive as they age. More wisdom, life experiences, and the kind of calm sigma confidence that comes from a life of challenge. This is one of the reasons why women can't stand the fact that men get more attractive as they age. They think it's unfair, but it's just life. Empathy for the struggles of the average man is something society needs desperately. Modern women hitting the wall and realizing how wrong they've been can only be a good thing for everybody. After the wall hits, women realize how hard life is for the average man. They realize that the support that good men offered her in the past was actually a much better deal than she ever believed before. Modern women will trash a guy on TikTok for offering to pay 50-50, but this just shows a woman's complete lack of maturity. A woman who has experienced how challenging life can be is grateful for 50%. If she is lucky enough to come across a man who is willing to provide for her, a mature woman is respectful and grateful for the monumental gift he is offering her. But the fact is, most modern women would spit in the face of a man who offered to be her provider. But modern women think that this is oppression and control. They couldn't be more wrong about that. This is pure feminist propaganda. The exact type of propaganda that is effectively bringing society to its knees. As a man, the best thing you can possibly do is something that I hope you're doing already. Walk away. Yes, it's true that women are hitting the wall and realizing faster than ever what a mistake the past few decades have been. But there's still so much change that needs to be made. We are nowhere near where we need to be as a society. Focus on yourself. Focus on your friends. Increase your relationship with your family. Get in the best shape of your life. Get your finances in order and make some money. Prioritize your own peace and happiness while modern women go through this shift. Eventually, they will come crawling back when they realize how difficult life is without us. But when that happens, the real question will be, will you take them back? As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.